Hi and good morning. A word from the Lord as a believer, believing this wondrous and beautiful place, the new Jerusalem that the Lord promises, that he will wipe away every tear, that there will be no more mourning or crying or pain or suffering. Today I'm drawing on one of the last prayers that Jesus prayed because it's so very crucial to understanding that in Jesus' last prayers for us, he prayed that all would be in unity. That is a crucial part of God's will and God's purpose and plan for us all. His intention of unity for all of us. The Lord says he will go before you. He will level the mountains. He will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. It, the Lord says he will give you the treasures of darkness, riches stored in the secret places. The Lord says also that he will open doors before his servants so that the gates will not be shut. The kinds of things that the Lord puts on my heart today is this unity in and amongst members of the body of Christ. We are stronger together and therefore for our, our global body of Christ, for all believers, for all churches. Father, I pray that you would lead the way for this to occur. Lord, that there would be success in the lives and hearts of individual believers, of their churches, their church family, in the global body of Christ. Lord, I pray that you would be our lamp in darkness. Father, I pray you lift up our heads as in Psalm 24, 7, Lord, that you lift up the doors and Lord, that the ancient gates be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you go before us all. Lord, I pray you strengthen your servant, level the mountains, break down the gates of bronze, cut through bars of iron. We acknowledge you, Lord. You are the God who has formed the light and created darkness and we acknowledge your words Lord. pray for you that the Lord will lead the way that in every aspect of your life that the Father will help you to make him your refuge that the Lord will remove every deception that the enemy has planted every snare and every trap you know Lord I pray that you would clear the way, remove obstacles. Lord, I pray for unity in Christ at a worldwide and a global level. Father, I pray that you will subdue the nations and Father, that you will open doors before your servants to ensure that, that the gates are open. Lord, I pray you go before the body of Christ, O oh Lord, bring us together as one in unity with God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Lord, I note you say in Revelation 21 7, he who overcomes will inherit all this and will live and I will be his God and he will be my son. So I pray, Lord, that these are the things that you're going before us in the hope, Lord, that we may bring you the glory. That we would become sons and daughters of Christ and be overcomers and inherit the kingdom of God. I'm reminded of Revelation 19.19 and it's interesting to note what it says. The beast, the kings of the earth and their armies gather together to make war against the rider on the white horse. That's Jesus of course. The beast and the false prophet who performed miracles on his behalf were captured. He deluded those who received the mark of Beast. We live in a world where there is delusion from the mark of the beast, not seeing the truth, pulling a wool over so many people's eyes. And this is where our role as servants in Christ is so important that we maintain integrity to the word and the promise of God. What the Lord put on my heart when I sought him on this, this idea, this topic, was that in seeking the Lord to obey his commands, that he will guide us every step of the way and he will give us a word and a prayer to help us through every phase and every stage. And it is this word and this prayer that's worthy of sharing. We are battling 
against that mark of the beast in the world that we live in. And whilst we have, by the grace of God, been brought into his glorious kingdom through no works of our own, Revelation 21, 3 and 4 speaks about God dwelling in his people. We are that temple of God. And we know from other scriptures that we are to be holy because the Lord our God is holy. And so in the process of purification and sanctification, it was then that I stumbled upon great meaning that the Lord led me to Isaiah 45. And the idea of becoming overcomers discussed in verse 7 of Revelation 21, that he who overcomes will inherit the kingdom of God. I pray that you are blessed by this word today. And I do thank you for tuning in and listening to this urgent word from the Lord. I want to pray for you now. Father, I pray for your servant in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would level the mountains before them, that on their behalf, Lord, you would cut down the iron bars and open the gates so that they may enter, O oh Lord, as it be according to your will and purpose in their individual lives, their salvation. Father, I pray that in churches, in their church, Lord, we are all as one body brought into unity with God the Father, God the Son and Holy Spirit, both in our inner selves and our innermost being and in our relationships with each other in the body of Christ, from one to another within each individual church, but from one church to another across the world. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you are our lamp in darkness, that you help us to be stronger together in unity as one. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you remove the obstacles, a lack of faith, of doubts, of unbelief, of rebellion. Philippians tells us that we live in a time of selfish ambition. Lord, I pray that you join us together as one, hand in hand, bringing you the glory every step of the way, Father, that we are happy to share our love for you and the word that you give to us individually. Lord, that we all lift each other up, that we all are able to encourage each other. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that your presence be working in us and through us, that your voice will not be silenced, O Father of heaven. Your faith will not be silenced in the name of Jesus, Father. I pray that you help us all to courageously step forward and share the glorious riches and wisdom. Lord, those glorious treasures and riches, may they be allowed to flow freely through us and through those in our churches, Father. Father, may you pave the way. Lord, that your glorious body of Christ will be a light to all nations. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you. Amen. Have a great weekend.